As a business owner who creates content as a part of my marketing strategy, I'm always looking for ways to streamline my content creation workflow. I know that doing this will not only help me stay organized, but will also keep me consistent when it comes to content creation, which is why in today's video, I'm breaking down exactly how I use a free app called ClickUp to organize my content creation workflow. Hi there, my name is Sewa, and as a business owner, like so many of you out there, I am busy. Before I started using ClickUp, my content creation process was all over the place. Whenever I had an idea, I would write it down within my Google Keep app. And then when it came time to scripting videos, I would use a Word document. And then in general, I tried to pull it all together in an Excel document that I was using as my content calendar. And over time, I could tell that this disjointed content creation workflow was costing me time I did not have, which is why I'm glad I came across ClickUp about three years ago. Go, and now it really does help me streamline my content creation process. So if you're interested in taking a look behind the scenes at how I do that, let me share my screen with you. So if you watched the last video that I put out, I promised that I would share with you how I store the content ideas I have either on the go or when I sit down from my brainstorming. So let me go ahead and share that with you. So first things first, when I'm on the go, I can use the ClickUp app on my phone. So I usually will go into my spaces over here, my marketing section, my content calendar, and I have sections for YouTube, the podcast. I'll click on YouTube and right there, all of my ideas show up as to-do items. So at the bottom here, I can just say add task and we'll just call it test name. So when I move onto my computer, you can see, you can see it. There you go, it shows up. And then I'm going to add a quick tag on the content type, and this is a video, just so I know what kind of content it is, and then also what stage it's at. This is an idea only. So when you go back into the list, at least I know quickly I've done that, and this is the start of my content creation process. All right, so now we're in the desktop version of ClickUp because on a day-to-day -day basis, this is where I prefer to manage my content creation workflow. So as a quick high-level tour, everything is organized into spaces, and then each space has different folders that you can create. And then under each folder, you have different lists that contain to-do items. So here I will go to YouTube since we're talking about my YouTube content creation workflow. And you'll notice that I have all of my YouTube ideas here and each of them has a different phase or stage it's at. And this helps me stay organized as far as what needs to be done next with what video. I always say, as you grow, you wanna set yourself up for success. If you intend to get help with your process, if it's disorganized, no one knows where to step in and help. So it's important that you start to figure out what kind of workflow or system you can have in place in order to keep yourself organized for the future. So as I mentioned, if you scroll all the way down, you see the test name over here. That is the item that we added on the mobile version of ClickUp. So not only can you assign your to-do items or in this case, your video ideas to people on your team. If you have someone helping you out with the different phases of your process, you can also assign a start and a due date. And if that's different from the date that you publish the item, you can also indicate that here. And depending on the platform you are posting on, there may be different formats that you can have. So something may not only be a video, but it could be an IGTV or a story or feed post. So you get the idea. You can decide what kind of content you're posting. So then that prompts the next action. So in this case, that idea was a video. I prefer to view my content creation workflow as a Kanban board. There are a lot of different ways you can view, including a calendar, which we'll look at later. But first up, let's go into the Kanban board here. And you'll see that I have 11 ideas that are just in progress. And once I've decided that I want to work on one particular idea, I'll start to research it just to make sure that it is something that's relevant to you guys, my audience, and it's also timely as far as when people need the information I'm sharing. So after I have researched, I will script an item. And then after I script, 
I will film, which is what I'm doing here now with you. And then after something is done filming, I will edit it. So for example, today's video that I'm filming with you is organizing my content creation workflow with ClickUp. And I love that you can just move it from one phase to another, and then it helps you visually see where you are within the process. So after filming, you can move an item to editing. After editing, you can go ahead and schedule it. Um, and YouTube, if you're familiar with the way the system works, you can upload a video and schedule it for a future date. And you can then confirm once something has been published. So I love that this way I'm organized and other people can also see if I've assigned an item to them, they will get alerted about something that now is in their queue. So that was the high level overview of what the workflow looks like. If we drill further in, another thing I like about having everything in one place is not only can I attach a document in here. So this document that I attached during the research phase is my keyword research, just making sure that I'm able to attach the right keywords to my video to make sure that I'm ranking and the video can be found from an SEO and a search perspective. The other thing I attach in here, and this is very helpful if you have someone else who scripts out your videos, you can attach this document to one task and scripting out the video also helps me stay organized. So all of this is something that you've heard me say within this video. These are the points that I plan on sharing within the video. And it's all housed within one document that's accessible no matter where I am or is accessible to other members of my team. So earlier I mentioned that there were multiple views. The next view that I like to see is the calendar view. This is a great way to see visually what you have scheduled to happen as far as content creation goes. So you can take a look at weeks that seem empty or weeks that seem too heavy on a specific kind of content and move things around. If you have items in your to-do list, which are ideas that are still in progress, you can figure out where you can place them so that it's, I know that's a date in the past, but you can figure out where you're going to place it. And even within the board you will see that a date has now been assigned to that one specific item, November 5th, right? So it's very helpful to do this. The other thing that I, I like about this is it's also a layered approach. So if I went to the high level end, I can see the calendar by different content types, right? And each of them are color coded. So for example, if I had pins for Pinterest that had been scheduled out, I don't at this point, you would see them layered on top of this calendar in a different color. So it's extremely flexible as far as what it is that you want to do. Now, some of you may be looking at this and thinking this is way too complicated for me. There's no way I could build this out for myself. And the good thing here is that I didn't build this out myself. ClickUp has free templates that you can use for a lot of different things, not just content creation. So I went through their repository of templates and tried to see which ones would best fit my needs. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is ClickUp's template site and no matter what you're working on, they seem to have a template for it. So if, for example, you are a scrum master and you wanna manage projects using ClickUp, they have something for you. If you are are in HR, if you're in accounting, they have something for you. I like that it's not only business related things, but you also have uh, personal use items here. So if you want to do your meal prep or if you want to organize your bucket list or your apartment hunting process, they seem to have templates for it. Now, the other thing is because there is such a big user base for ClickUp, people are creating their own templates for their own specific needs and they aren't stingy with it. So in order to come up with the system that I'm using today, I was able to piece together templates from ClickUp and other creators and it helped me come up with this one. So if you're interested in using the exact setup that I have now, I will go ahead and share a link to my template in the description box. So all you have to do is click it and ClickUp will easily allow you to upload it into your ClickUp and then you can manipulate it however you need to manipulate it. 
So that is my content creation workflow. Everything I mentioned is going to be available in the description box, including a link to set up your own ClickUp account for free, as well as a link to the template so you can browse to see if there is a use case for what you would like to use ClickUp for. Let me know in the comments if this is a content creation workflow that you would like to adopt. And if there are other details that you would like me to dive deeper in, let me know what they are in the comments. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we'll see you right back here for another video next week. Bye.